when we become disconnected to our bodies, we start to harbor uh, physical tension. And then physical tension is also uh, mental tension. It could be emotional tension. Um, I had a mentor once who said, you know, the person that you bring to work is the same person who is at home dealing with all of those personal things that they're dealing with. Um, so this idea of separating work and personal life is kind of uh, an illusion. It, it doesn't actually make any sense because you're the same person. You just decide to create different walls and different barriers when you step into work because of the different relationships at work and what have you. Um, and so the whole practice of mindfulness is how do we become more authentic at home in our personal life with our loved ones, friends, family, but also show up at work in the same way. Oftentimes when I work with people who work in a corporate setting, their main issue is I feel very compartmentalized, I feel very scattered, I don't feel focused, and there's this like diffusion of energy because people are trying to be so many different things. Yeah, I'm going to be this for work, I'm going to be this for home, I'm going to be like this as a son or a daughter, I'm going to be like this as a parent, and, and we're playing all these different roles and that can be very tiring. What does it mean to be well? That seems to be the question on everyone's mind. Uh, what does it mean to be well? Does anyone have any ideas? What does it mean to be well? Physically and mentally well. Physically and mentally well. Okay, physically and mentally well. Anyone else have a definition of well? Engaged and trying to work. Oh, she's got all the answers today. <laughs> What's your name? Farah. Farah, thank you, Farah. So, uh, being engaged at work. Um, anything else about well? Enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy what you're doing. Okay, Farah. Farah's in a role. To be Any... able to sleep properly. Okay. Day. To be able to sleep. To be able to sleep properly. What else? Stress free. Stress free. Okay. Cool. So we have these different definitions of what it means to be well. Um, so well, if we look at it from a from a ancient perspective, it's a connection between the mind, the body, and the spirit. Uh, and this is something that kind of we don't think about every day. We kind of think more about what we're going to eat for lunch, what we're going to eat for dinner, how we're going to pay the bills, how we're going to invest in something, how we're going to buy that bag or whatever it is that you want in the mall, right? So we're thinking about very material things. Uh, so that's physical, so body is physical. Uh, mind is mental, right? And then there's something in between, which no one talked about, huh? The spirit. The spirit, right. And then the bridge between that is the emotions. It's how we feel. Um, and it's our awareness that, you see that center point right there with the little dot? It's our awareness of all of these things functioning together. Now in a corporate setting, spirit doesn't necessarily mean you know, you get down and you start praying. Spirit means your purpose. It's, it's your connection to why you're doing what you're doing. And that's another way of looking at spirit. It's your, it's why are you here? What is the point? It's a bit of a philosophical existential question. Um, so when we have all these things in balance, if that, if your purpose is balanced, then it's going to infuse everything that you do. You will remember why you're doing what you're doing so that when you have to deal with a stressful situation, you're, you deal with it in a way that is effortless because your sense of purpose is very, very clear. Your work is really your, it's about how you put meaning into your life. And so whatever you choose to do, whether your passion is in IT or whatever it is, I, I don't know so much about banking because I'm in this uh, alternative kind of bubble. Um, I live in wellness, so my, my, my passion is really about mind-body connection and working with people and, and helping them realize and develop that self-awareness. Um, and so we're going to go into wellness in a physical sense today and then we're, we're doing something that will stimulate us mentally and in a visual way as well. Some of you do yoga. Yoga is a moving meditation. We're moving, we're breathing, we're feeling. So what's stress? What's stress? What is that? What? That's stress. That's stress. Okay. So in the middle of something. In the middle of something. Okay. So stress is. Would you say it's an external force that is pulling you from where you want to be? <laughs> yeah. So stress is. Oftentimes, we would probably define stress as something external that's happening to us. So if you think of like a stress fracture that happens on a bone, 
if someone breaks a bone, it's a physical thing, like if you, you know, have an accident in the car or something, there's, there's pressure on you physically from an external force. The boss is calling you in for a meeting, that is uh, external force, right? So this is stress. However, our relationship to stress can either cause us more pain or less suffering. It's, it's how we relate to that external force. And this is, this is what's very interesting. So let's say, you know, boss calls us your, what did you say, the GR? No, GR, the issues. Okay, the issues, okay. All, these, all this lingo, I don't know. All right, so there's issues, so there's issues. So how we react to those issues is ultimately up to, to us, we decide that. We can either run in a panic and freak out, you know, and show up in front of the boss like, Ugh. or we, we show up and like, okay, hey, it's urgent, I know it's really urgent, but I'm here, what can I do? How can I help? Right? And so there's different ways of, of expressing that stress. Um, so I define stress as it's a creation from the attachment of our expectations and our inability to surrender into the present flow of all that is. And I know that sounds very, very poetical. And so really, if we, if we think about it, if we have an idea of how we want something to be, like let's say you have a project and you want it to go like this, the reality is it's not going to go like that because you have to collaborate with other people and different people work in different ways. So your vision of how you wanted that thing to happen is going to unfold differently. Just like if you were going down a river, you know, the, the current is going to take you down whether you want to go up or down, it's still it's going to take you down. Things will unfold as they will unfold. And so when we start to resist that flow, that's when we cause stress. Because stress is innately tied to resistance. When, when we resist nature, right? Nature is a huge force. So, and, and things happen in our lives and they just happen. Sometimes bad things happen to good people and sometimes good things happen to bad people. Life just happens. And so our relationship to, to, to all of those happenings can either cause us stress or not cause us stress. And then we decide how that is. So, um, meditation, so we're going to experience that. I don't want to talk about how meditation helps. There's a lot of research around that. Um, if you want to look up more about how meditation physiologically changes your body and your chemistry, Harvard Medical, if you Google Harvard Medical, they have a whole department devoted to meditation studies. They go over all of the benefits physiologically of how meditation helps your mind, your focus, your immune system. It changes the, the physi physiology of your brain. Um, so there's a lot of research out there. Um, so let's do some stuff, because I don't like talking for too long. You guys ready to do some of this stuff that we talked about? Yeah. In very, very slow ways, the breath will deepen you into a state where you are present and connected. In a few moments, the light will come on, so the eyes will remain closed. When the light goes on, fixate on the center of your brow. And take in all of that vibration, the vibration from the light, the vibration from the sound, is to investigate internally what is it that is keeping you attached to your expectations what is it that is keeping you attached to stress whether that's physical mental emotional stress whether that's work related personal what is keeping you stuck trapped, feeling heavy, and notice if that heaviness lives somewhere in your body, does that heaviness live somewhere in your mind?
does that heaviness have a shape? Does it have a color or a memory? Is that memory connected to a certain relationship or many relationships? scientist looking through a microscope. What kind of sensations are in that region? Is it sharp? Is it dull? Is it hot? Is it cold? Has it been there for a long time or is it recent? What has caused that discomfort, that pain? By simply inquiring those questions and breathing into those questions in that area of your body, allow the breath to dissipate that tension. Allow the breath to soften that space. Feel into the beat of your heart. 
feel into the vibration of every single cell in your body. And charge your cells with energy, with purpose, vitality. Because this is your true state.
short word or a phrase. We'll just go down the line and everyone will just say what it is they're experiencing. Let's try to use words that the person next to you has not used. And then we'll go down and just say one word about how it is that you feel. We'll start with Vali. Relax. Break. Break. Break from work. Relax. Relax. Another word? Molly said relax. Hungry. Hungry. Okay, great. Hungry. Vibration. Vibration. You're sensing a lot of vibrations? Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Refreshed. Refreshed. Great. Refreshed. Sorry? Somewhere. Reach somewhere, like a destination or yeah, a, yeah, a, a, a. That drinking looks like walking somewhere. Okay, okay, so you were you were uh, going somewhere. All yeah, right, yeah, so yeah. halfway somewhere. Okay, cool. Connected to Dinosaur. Sorry. Connected to Dinosaur. Connected. With inner sound. With inner sound. Okay, connected with inner sound. All right. My hour of Vipassana, man. This is our. He's gonna lead all of your group meditation sound. He's connected to his inner sound. Awesome, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Oh, very, very conscious. So. How are you doing? Relax. Uh, <laughs> out of place. Out of? My current work. Out of work. Out of work. Okay. Relax. Relax. All right. Light. 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 Great. Calmness. Calm. And uh, a bit of the vibration. Vibration. A bit. Yeah. Great. Um, thank you guys so much for participating and for um, for showing up.